It's really about control. I'm interested in always removing the face because it's, it's kind of withholding something from the viewer. I think when you're looking at a portrait of a subject, maybe culturally you're drawn towards the eyes. That's the kind of main passage of communication. By removing that, I think it creates a kind of disorienting effect for the viewer. I think putting myself in the work was born out of necessity, but you know, the kind of thinking about how the work functions, especially in relation to contemporary self-representation, it kind of opened up lots of new ways of thinking about it. You know, it kind of readjusts the power dynamic that's inherent in photography. You know, when you think about portraiture, it's the idea is that camera has this, you know, special capacity to reveal something of the subject. It allows us to kind of, you know, stare and, and, and loiter on the image and maybe glean something of the subject's character. So by putting myself in these things and being camouflaged or disguised or completely, you know, invisible in a way, I'm kind of, you know, perverting the conditions of that. I'm redistributing that power dynamic. And it's, you know, it's a really kind of, you know, powerful place to be in as the subject, to be in control of how the viewer um, gets to see you. When I'm starting a new work, I might be responding to a location and so I will start with a recce and I'll find spaces within that environment that I want to shoot and then I will go back to the studio and I begin creating these costumes. Something about the kind of overall form or the palette or the textures of the costumes will kind of respond to that. So it really is the form of the figure responding to the form of the environment. I can't draw so there's no planning things out. I kind of grab these fabrics and I start manipulating them and thinking about how I can create this uh, costume. Following the only kind of required output is that, you know, the body disappears in some way. And so the costume starts to kind of materialize very gradually. I've got it on this mannequin and I'm kind of watching it. It's like a Frankenstein's monster. And that's a really magical part of the process, you know, just seeing this costume come to life. The new work was made after a visit to Phoenix Central Park. I was really captivated by the gallery space in there. There's something really monumental and kind of cathedral-like about it. It's this huge, expansive concrete space with these giant circular apertures that open out to the street. So I wanted to make something that felt equally elaborate. What I've attempted to do is kind of create something really architectural of the body that kind of conflicts against the firmness of the concrete so that while there is really strong and overpowering feel of the space, there is a kind of fluidity to the costume as well. So that the figure in some ways kind of feels like it sits comfortably within the space, like it's of the space, but at the same time kind of erupts uh, out of it. You know, for all the costumes that I make, maybe of every three, there's one that's a disaster. Last night, I woke up at about three in the morning and realised I'd made a huge mistake. I was working on a costume and I felt like it was going to be really great. And then I realised in the dark that it was not going to be great. I just don't think it's going to be photogenic. Like the structure of the costume I really like. Um, I like that it's kind of intense, you know, Disney villain-esque. Uh, but I think, you know, I'm gonna really kind of have to pound it with light in order for the details, the kind of folds, that ribbon effect that I wanted to create. It's definitely not wasted. It'll just sit here and haunt me on this mannequin for a little while first. So I got up right early this morning and have been very rapidly completing the second costume. It's a bit more vibrant uh, than the original one and a bit more graphic. And it's probably a bit more representative of the kind of costumes that I would make. So I feel much more comfortable today uh, about what I'm going to shoot. You know, that gallery space, it's this kind of colossal concrete room that everything's really ordered and organised. And the nice thing about this costume is it's also architectural, it's sculptural, but it's frenetic and messy. And so it kind of works against 
the architecture in a nice way and then the shock of yellow will really help distinguish the figure away from that monochromatic concrete background. I mean, it's definitely awkward. Not so embarrassed because you couldn't see me. Like underneath my face, I'm giving it a real red hot Kate Moss. But it's awkward. It's uncomfortable too. It's really physical. Exciting. <laughs> I shoot hundreds of images often and you know maybe kind of boiling down to you know one or two that I can use so I was happy that there was some images to work with at the end of it because I probably wasn't feeling as optimistic after the shoot but I'm really happy with the two final images and in particular this portrait image it's a good representation of the of the space and the costume I spend so long kind of thinking about the costume and then the image and then staring at the image and it gets to the end of it I print it and I'm like Huh.